Hello, in this video we're going to compute the value of the secant of 3 pi over 4. Let's work through this solution. The first thing we will do is write it as follows. We have the secant of 3 pi over 4. And this is equal to 1 over the cosine of 3 pi over 4. So now we just have to compute the cosine of 3 pi over 4. So this is one of the easier angles. So you first look at the cosine of pi over 4. The cosine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2. Pi over 4 is the reference angle for 3 pi over 4. If you don't know what that is, you can work it out quickly. Here's the angle 3 pi over 4. And then here is the angle pi over 4, this white angle here, pi over 4. And this is the angle pi, this big one here, 180 degrees. So the thing is, the trig function values of an angle and its reference angle are the same, except possibly the sine. So when you look at the cosine of 3 pi over 4, immediately you should think, oh, the cosine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. Okay, now is it going to be positive or is it negative? And again, that's because the key fact is that the trig function values of an angle are the same as the trig function values of its reference angle, except for possibly a sign difference. So in our case, uh, 3 pi over 4 is here. That's in quadrant 2. And on the unit circle, every ordered pair has the form cosine theta comma sine theta. More specifically, it's the x-coordinate, right? Cosine is the x-coordinate on the unit circle. And so over here, the x-coordinate is negative, so our answer is negative. So instead of square root of 2 over 2, it'll be negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay, so that's the key. So whenever you have an angle like this, you think of its reference angle, and then you think about whether or not it's going to be a plus or a minus of whatever you get here. So 1 divided by this is 1 times the reciprocal. So that would be negative 2 over root 2. And so we end up with negative 2 over root 2 is the answer. And you can leave it like this or um, you can rationalize. To rationalize means that you would eliminate the square root that's in the bottom. Let me just show you really quickly, why not? So you have minus two over root two. To get rid of the square root on the bottom, you just multiply by the square root of two over the square root of two. And this is really just one, that's why we're allowed to do this. So then you have negative two times the square root of two in the numerator. On the bottom, we've got root two times root two, which is just two. Oh, look, they cancel, so you just get negative root 2. So that's another acceptable answer to this problem. Anyways, I hope this problem has been helpful to someone out there. Good luck.